everybody, this is Benzino reporting to you from North Carolina Forests. Today, I'm going to show you why we need the Red Wolf to preserve the beauty and health of these great places for future generations. Red wolves are a keystone species, meaning that they are crucial to maintaining a healthy ecosystem. As top predators, the wolves keep all the energy levels below them in check, which means that populations of herbivores and smaller carnivores could not balloon and use up all the nutrients in the environment. This allows for increased biodiversity and more balanced energy levels. Because of extensive hunting and habitat destruction, the species was declared extinct in the wild in 1980. However, conservation efforts from the Fish and Wildlife Service and other organizations brought the wolf back and a thriving population of over 100 individuals were observed around 2006. This population of wild wolves exists in a small area of land in coastal North Carolina and has helped manage populations of animals such as deer, raccoons, and nutria in their range. There are many challenges that must be overcome when trying to reintroduce any species to an environment, and these problems are amplified with the red wolf. It has been very difficult to keep the wolves from breeding with invasive eastern coyotes which rushed in to fill the hole left by the wolves. Additionally, as top predators, these animals scare many landowners in the area who fear for their pets and livestock. Because of this discontent, the Fish and Wildlife Service has become more and more lenient regarding their policies about trapping and hunting recently, causing the population to almost half from its peak just a few years ago. To add on to this, Taxonomic evaluations have established that the red wolf we know today is not the exact same as they were hundreds of years ago, before humans decimated wolf populations. This has opened a tiny loophole in the recovery effort, and anti-conservation entities proclaim that these creatures aren't even wolves at all, but a type of coyote. This is a huge exaggeration of what the research originally suggested. And while it is true that modern red wolves aren't exactly the same as they used to be, it doesn't change the fact that they are wolves and that they are still highly necessary to maintain a healthy environment. If you would like to see these beautiful and highly necessary animals return to their home, Please help support conservation organizations such as the Wolf Recovery Center, Defenders of Wildlife, and the Red Wolf Coalition, which are fighting for Red Wolf recovery. Additionally, if you are a North Carolina resident, find your district's representative and contact them to let them know that you want the wolves back again. Together, we can restore Red Wolves to their former range and balance the environmental scales in the southeastern U.S. once again.